Hello, children, asshole consulting. Live. Well, not live. Asshole consulting. It's just, I don't know. I'm live now. Wherever. Hey, Cappy, can you do a clear test on Freddie Mercury and Elton John? I'm tired of the hipster dipshit millennials droning on about how much they love their music only after the movies on them came out. It's funny, too, because a few years ago, these would have been the same people to call their music overrated and too mainstream. Now, Jim Moronson. You spelled, more, you spelled it Moronson. It's Moronson is old news. Thanks, Noah. So yeah, let's take a look. I I don't I, I, I hate their style. Of, I hate all 70s music. Guys, there's there's American music just took a shit. Basically starting in the mid 60s. Not nothing good, nothing. Even the pop stuff of the uh 50s was bad, but the 70s was just shit. What about the Steve Miller? What about him? Oh, dude, but Kit, what about Kiss? Great, great uh, entertainers, not musicians. Freddie Mercury, great singer. No doubt they're great. The music they made sucked. All sucked. Come on, man. Uh, nope. Mm -mm. No. All right, so let's go. <clears throat> What's up, Elton John? Then when they made the movie about Elton John, Rocket Man. Oh, yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to go see that. <laughs> no offense to Elton John. I just, he's like a professional athlete. I like, oh, man, look at him go. All right, he can play the piano. Had a funny cameo appearance in uh, The Kingsman too. I have nothing against Elton John. It's all the, his dipshit fans. Just like, all the dude, bro, throw the ball real good. I wear his jersey. Fuck my wife. Sir Elton Hercules John. Oh. Born Reginald Kenneth Dwight, English singer, songwriter, pianist, and composer, collaborating with lyricist Bernie Taupin since 1967 on more than 30 albums, throwing 300 million records. Best music, be a booby booby doo. I think we know who he is. All right, early life. <clears throat> Was born Reginald in Piner, Middlesex, the eldest child of Stanley Dwight and the only child of Sheila Eileen. And was raised in a council house in Piner by his maternal grandparents. Oh, so that, that doesn't sound good. What's a council house? Council is a form of British public housing built by local authorities. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, so he didn't come from wealth. And was raised by his maternal grandparents. <laughs> oh, that's got to be a curse of the boomer parents that didn't raise their daughters, right? All of a sudden, they're raising some other guy's kid. <coughs> I'm pursuing my career in salonistry. She's discovering herself. We're just helping out. I love the grandchild. Parents married in 1945. When the family moved to nearby semi-detached house, he was educated at Pioneer Wood Junior School, 17. When he left just prior to his A-level examinations to pursue a career in music, when John began to consider a career in music seriously, his father, Sue, served as a flight lieutenant in the Royal Air Force, tried to steer him towards more conventional careers such as banking. John had said that his wild stage costumes and performances were his way of letting go after such a restrictive childhood. Both of his parents were musically inclined. Father Ben trumpet player. Uh, <clears throat> Keen record buyers. Playing piano, attended classes. Okay, here we go. Uh, at age 11, you won a junior scholarship. Okay. Five years, he attended the academy. So he's still a teenager. I'm just seeing if he went to school anywhere for something stupid. I don't think he did. Career, <clears throat> pub pianist. Debut, Yellow Brick Road. Chile! Is that his song? Yep. Crazy outfits just kept on playing. Yeah, I mean he 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 just and he, he's still playing now. Why? Wow. Still alive. Uh, Rocket Man retirement tour uh, 2018 to present. Okay, uh, announced that John was retiring from touring. Mark a three-year farewell tour. So he's retiring from touring. I don't think this guy's ever going to stop playing. What else would you do? Wins awards, do do do. Personal life. I think we all know he's gay. <clears throat> what, did he play football? 
Oh, he supported. Oh, he bought a football team. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> All right. Uh, so he came from, he was, he was Poe. Uh, he didn't go to a stupid school. He didn't major in something stupid. He's worked his entire life. Yeah, he gets he gets a he gets a perfect score on the Clary test. Would I like to have a beer with him? Hell yeah! Should he run for office? Sure. I don't I don't see why not. Again, I don't know if I'd vote for him, and you might be surprised. Just, I know here's a shock for you, close-minded leftists. Just because he's gay, don't mean he's going to vote uh, uh, Democrat or Labour over in the United Kingdom. <clears throat> that uh uh, not Janice Joplin. What's <laughs> way off? <sighs> The gal who's famous because he's a guy won the gold medal decathlon. Most famous transvestite, transsexual out there. Oh, why can't I remember his name? Caitlyn Jenner. Bruce Jenner. There. Okay, that guy. Gal. Whatever. Um, he's Republican. <laughs> you you think Elton John hasn't paid a lot in taxes? You, you think he hasn't had it? Like, what? How much? So, uh, yeah, he may shock you. All right, and then the other one is uh, Freddie Mercury. All right. <clears throat> also British. Oh, it was British. Uh, oh, come on here. Okay, born 1946, died 1991. Oh, tragically young. British singer, songwriter, record producer, lead vocalist, rock band Queen, regarded as one of the greatest lead singers in history of rock music. Known for a flamboyant stage persona and four octave vocal range. Yes, he could, no doubt about it, uh, defied the conventions of a rock frontman with his highly theatrical style influencing the artistic direction of Queen. Uh, born in 1946 in Zanzibar to Parsi India. Oh, he doesn't look really. Well, I guess he does have some darker features. He looked more Italian to me. I didn't know that. Okay. Where is Zanzibar? Is that like Rhodesia? It was a place. Now it isn't. <clears throat> uh, sovereign state, 56, 1856, 90. says sovereign state, 62. Well, what is it now? Zanzibar. It's just... Coastal town with Islam as the official religion. Swahili coast? Where is it? Oh, really? You guys can't just show me a map? Hang on. We're going to find out where Zanzibar. Oh, it stopped existing in 1984. Oh, it was probably... It was probably... Um, oh, it's still there. Tanzania. Okay. Oh, it's on an island. Oh, it's just a little. Oh, I thought it was this big country. <clears throat> All right, never mind. It, the, the geography lesson doesn't matter. Uh, in 1964, his family fled the Zanzibar Revolution, moving to Middlesex. Hey, isn't that where uh, Elton John was? Having studied and written music for years, he formed Queen in 1970 with guitarist Brian May and drummer Ro Roger Taylor. Mercury wrote numerous hits for Queen. It's a killer queen, Bohemian Rhapsody, Somebody Love. We are the champions. Don't stop me now. Crazy little thing called love. Died uh, in 1991, age 45, due to complications of AIDS. From the day before his death, he had contracted the disease, had been diagnosed in 1987. Could she record with Queen? So let's go early. I, I bet you it's going to be the same thing as, uh, <clears throat> what's his name? Uh, uh, Elton John. Born in Farouk, Bursara, the stone town of the British protectorate of Zanzibar, now part of Tanzania, on September 5th, 1946. Parents Bomi and Jerber Bulsara were part of the Parsi community of Western India. The Bulsaras had origins in the city of Bulsar, now Valsad, in Gujarat. His younger sister, Kashmira, family moved to Zanzibar, could continue his job as a cashier at the British colonial office as Parsis, the Bulsaras practice Zoroastrianism. Mercury was born with four supremacy incisors in which he attributed his enhanced vocal range. 
His Zamsa bar was a British protector until 1963. Mercury was born a British subject and a blah, 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 registered citizen. Family immigrated to the United. Most of the childhood in India, take a piano as a seven. At age of study St. Petersburg, a boarding school for boys in Panganchi near Bombay. At the age of 12, he formed a school band, The Hectics, and covered rock and roll artists such as Clifford Rich and Little Richard. Mercury's former bandmate is the only Zamsa player who has friends going on a canny ability. Bada -ba St. Peter. I'm just trying to think if he came from wealth. <clears throat> Probably not, because if his dad was a cashier, you know, he had a government office. I guess they were okay, but he didn't come from wealth. Revolution against the Sultan of Zanzibar and his mainly Arab government, in which thousands of ethnic Arabs and Indians were killed. Moved to England, relocated. After first studying art at the Isleworth Polytechnic in West London, guy degree in graphic art and design. Later used his design heraldic arms for his band Queen. I'm giving him half a point. I know we kind of grandfather in the older people, but he wasn't that old. I mean, he's a boomer, and he went into art. Like if he went into law or business, then I'd forgive him. Uh, but he went into art, so no, he get he gets half a point. At least he didn't go into political science. He was going to go change the world or teach. Uh, after graduation, joined a series of bands and sold secondhand clothes at Kensington Market. Okay, real honest work. Also had a job as a baggage handler at Heathrow Airport. All right, his dad's connections aren't getting him anywhere because dad didn't have no connections. <clears throat> Quite shy, but a band failed to take off. John Sour Milk C. 70 or more. Dealing with failures, bands are breaking up. 1971. Uh, 71, he started Queen. Sure, before the first album, Queen Crest, Zodiac Signs, Duty B, ba da ba. Uh, I don't care about the arms. Vocals. When did he start? Getting going here. See now you can all learn for I, I get I keep what kind of business should I start and like what how can I start this business without going and working a real job? I like to graduate from high school and have my business right. Well, unless you started when you were 12 or 13, it's not gonna happen. And Freddie Mercury worked jobs until he made it in music. Foreign concept, I know. <laughs> if I ever get a bio. He worked as a banker until he got his books and he became an author. <laughs> Throw somebody out there after I die. Make sure the Wikipedia thing says he was he worked as a security guard. I probably have more hours under my belt as a security guard than I do a banker. I wasn't a banker. I was only a banker once. I was a credit analyst. All right, where are we going? Mm hmm. Oh, he performed in Live Aid, 1985. Guy, remember that? That's where all those musicians came together and they cured African poverty. Yeah, that happened in 1985. We never had to worry about Africa again. Instrumentalists, all this very interesting things. Uh, and he worked till he was dead. Uh, so yeah, kind of some parallels there with Alton John. Um, so yeah, it gets it gets a half a score, half a point. Would I want to have a beer with him? Yes, at a distance. Just at a distance. Pre-87 uh, or post-87? Um, and then uh, should he run for office? Yeah, he could. Uh, he has hustle. He has work. Every right to run for office would probably make a better uh, politician than most of the P in Parliament, where the Labour Party talks a lot about Labour. Uh and again, like Elton Don, John, don't be surprised if uh, Freddie Mercury would have happened to vote uh, Tory, conservative. What's the other one? The political party that's spelled phonetically like it should be without an unnecessary U at the end. <clears throat> Why don't you guys go get some programmies? All right. So there you go. Any super chats? None. Boom. We're done. See you guys later. Toodles.